What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to some more NO1800. All right, so welcome to the ever-growing skyline of Winchester as well. My goodness. I worked on this a little bit off-camera, getting the uh, the other town hall area right here set up and running. Still do have a Blue Skies made and a Blue Skies delivery service, as well as an actor at the moment. Um, I, I do have a handful somewhere. Yeah, I have a handful. I have a small number of engineers in here still, so I am still using an actor for the time being just because of that purpose, but probably not for much longer because most all the engineers are gone from there. Just a handful right there. So sooner or later, I won't need that actor, but I will keep him for the moment. But that skyline is looking rather lovely. I'm actually really enjoying this right here. As you can also see that I have uh, applied some of the Vibrant Cities pack. Uh, we, uh, well, I actually sat in the members section of the Discord server last night. A uh, little thing that I do for channel members, Patreons, and Twitch subscribers as well, if you don't know about that. Uh, on occasion, I might stream a little bit in between episodes. And uh, I will do that specifically in the members only section of my Discord server so those people can get a little sneak peek of things that are going on in the background. So if you ever want to hang out with that and support the channel and stuff like that, check out those uh, links down below. Little, little shameless plug. I know. I have no shame. So anyways. Got a bit of this right here going. Got some vibrant city stuff happening. I think the city is looking rather cool so far. Uh, but something that kind of I realized last night that I really, really need to get going is I need to get my scholars up and running. I need to get scholars going. I need to get some research happening because I'm starting to need a lot more specialists and I don't feel like sitting over at Eli and just constantly rolling for stuff. So we're going to take a bit of an excursion today and go get Mbessa set up and go get our scholars up and running. I'm just going to go ahead and do that all in one fell swoop in one quick video and get all of that taken care of. So let's pop over to Imbesa, which I obviously have not done a single thing with other than set up a single trading post because I've been super lazy about it. Um, so my plan for this is for right now, I'm only going to be focusing on what I have to do to get the scholars themselves. I have skipped the main storyline, of course, as I recommend all people doing, just skip the storyline. It's not a big deal. You can still get most all of the rewards so I wouldn't even worry about it. So we're going to go ahead and get this going. I'm going to, um, well, you know what? We'll do a little time lapse. We haven't done a time lapse in a little while. So let's get a time lapse going and let's get Mbessa set up.
All right, guys, so back from the time lapse here. I think I've decided instead of producing my own seafood stew, I think I'm just going to import it through Docklands. It is quite the hefty chain. Um, need, well, I mean, I can get tractors eventually, but I'm not going to have tractors just yet down here. So it does take quite a bit of teff and spices. Uh, I would need, two, I would need, well, let's see, one teff mill can support two watt kitchens. So it's two, four, one, one of those. And I've mean, I already got one of those. Hey, you know, I may just go ahead and produce it myself. It's been a long time since I've done my own <laughs> seafood stew. I normally do just make it my, uh, import it. I might make some, oh, you know what? I know how I'll do this. I will make some locally for my for my people down here, and then my scholars, I will import it for the scholars. That's how I'm going to do this. Yeah, that's how we're going to make this work. Make it locally for these guys. Okay, so we're going to come up here. Kind of get ourselves another nice area of farmland ready. But yeah, pretty, you know, very simple, basic little town going on right here. Nothing crazy. Oh, what was this? Okay. Yeah. Nothing too crazy going on. Just a simple little town. Got some of our farms down here where our indigo is being made. Lobster up here. And then just this little setup right there. So pretty happy with how, how simple it's turned out. I'm pretty cool with it. I am going to go through and find quite a few specialists for everything as well here in a little while. Uh, but for right now, I just want to get all this right here set up and running. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves. Uh, this needs to actually be there. Yeah, I, I will do tractors and stuff here in Ibessa. I get to ask that question a lot. Like, you know, do you do tractors in Bessa? And yes, my, my gosh, yes. Uh, tractors in Embesa are just about required, given how much stuff you got to produce from this region. So I think tractors in this region are very, very critical. To leave a little road right there, so we'll come this way with it. Okay, so there is everything we need for this guy. Tempted to go ahead and just move him up there the rest nearby to all of this Just give me a minute to put my that way you can go straight to it then i could actually also move the watt kitchen up there as well put it nearby so it's all kind of right there where it needs to be with one another okay there's my lobster being dropped off good plenty of everything in storage right now so i'm happy with that How many elders do I have right now? Only 504, so you do need 1,500 elders. So that's kind of my uh, my big goal right now, is I do need 1,500 elders. That way I can build scholar residences. That is the, uh, the requirement. At 300 elders, you can build the Research Institute itself, and then at 1,500, you can build scholar residences. So I guess I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm just going to do a quick cut. I'm going to go kind of expand things out a little bit more, get ourselves to 1,500 elders, and so we can get our scholars up and running. So I will see you guys after the cut. So we are really, really close to having our 1,500 elders. We're at 1,275 now. Uh, the last thing I really need to do now is get the lantern smith up and running, which, of course, is a, a slightly larger chain right here. I am going to need cotton and glass as well as... Uh, beeswax for the chandlers but take a look around here we've got some beeswax right here on this island i think it's a great spot for it and go ahead and upgrade him i want to go ahead and grab another schooner schooners are great for ambessa just because the consumption rate in ambessa is very low you typically aren't transporting too much stuff around until later on so schooners are really, really good for early on in Bessa type stuff. So I think that's going to build another one. It's all I've got right now, transporting stuff around through on a port dealer. And it's it's pretty well stabilized and everything. I'm not too concerned about it. Later on, I'll probably replace it with, with clippers and stuff. But 
for the most part, things in Ebesa are really easy to uh, localize, uh, locally produce, basically. Especially, you know, everything for the shepherds is locally produced, for the most part. I mean, you do need linseed, and you don't have linseed everywhere, but you got it most places. And once you tractor everything up, you can have just a couple of farm islands, and a few farming islands with tractors on them can support very large imbecile populations. So I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue. Um, Actually, you know what? This right here, I think, is going to be where I want to do my bee abundance. That way I can bring in glass to here and cotton from the new world and get it all right here on this place. You know, there is something I'm curious about. Lantern Smith. Is there anything for the Lantern Smith in particular? So the Abessin Bishop, instead of ornate candles, the building process is light bulbs. Now that's an interesting one right there. That does take out the need for the beeswax and that and replaces it with just light bulbs. So that's an interesting one and one I might look into. I don't think there's anything in particular for the Chandler. No, it doesn't look like it. It's just the Lantern Smith. How do you guys feel about replacing uh, candles with light bulbs? How do you feel about that? I kind of feel like I don't really want to do that just because, you know, lanterns aren't, you know, the candles aren't that bad to make. Uh, beeswax is really easy. I mean, it's a it's a one to one. And like one of these can support two of those right there. So. I feel like it's not that big of a deal, to be honest with you. Oh, this does require elders, so I will have to produce it back on the main island. That's fine. All right, so what I'm going to do is pop over to the New World. Got a good island right here that's got some cotton on it, and it's right next to the island edge. I'm going to jump up here. I want to make another... Go ahead and make a handful of cargo ships. I need more cargo ships. I think, yeah, there he is. Made a few of those. That's good. I think I was up here looking for some uh, propellers. Yeah. We'll get some propellers and stuff later on for everything. I do need some more of those. I do like my epic propellers. If I can find them, which I never, ever can find them when I need them for some reason. Yeah. All right. So we'll get some epic propellers. Go uh, epic. Yeah. Some legend. Yeah. Some epic propellers. I go along with the legendary one. Uh, what I plan on doing is having a single cargo ship come up here to pick up the glass. It's going to be a huge route. It's going to go pick up the cotton as well as the glass and take all that to Ambessa. So I'm going to have one cargo ship doing multiple things. Just say the word. But let's jump over here. We're going to grab a bit of this. Grab some of that. We're going to come right, right over here. All right, so I'm going to go set this up real quick, and then we will come back and take a look at the final, uh, the finished product for our um, our scholars. Not scholars, our elders, so we can get ready to do scholars. So I'll see you guys after the cut. All right, so got everything set up and ready, so let's get this trade route online. I'm going to go over to Winchester, and we're going to pick up two things of windows... Well, let's just pick up three things of windows just to be sure. I'm going to come down here and pick up. I think it was from this island here. Is there wool on that island? Wait, no. Not that. Oh, oh, oh I had something else selected. I was like, eh? Okay. Go there and pick that stuff up, and then we are going to head to Invesa and drop it all off. There. Okay, so that takes care of that trade route. And last but not least is I've got this little guy right here uh, who is going to go and pick up 
So I do have everything set up there and there for wax. You are an Imbesa route. Cool. And we will put a uh, port dealer on him once he gets down there. That should somehow I have. Oh, I have a little bit of glass. I was like, how do I have glass? Right. I had the um, I've had some festivals going on down here that gave me like glass and cotton and a few odds and ends like that. If you're never if you randomly get stuff like that and you don't know where it's coming from, it's coming from festivals, by the way. So now we just need to get the the ornate candles going and we will be ready to supply the lanterns take a look at our population here we have exactly enough for 1500 once we have the lantern need filled so I'm gonna skip ahead real quick until i have that filled and we'll be ready to do our scholars and get the research institute built real quick right here we got a holy festival which is kind of nice because it does supply us with lanterns so our lantern need is actually being met by the festival even though uh, we don't have everything going just yet. We've got uh, we've got a couple of ornate candles coming in, but not much. Our ship, which is getting all of that together for us, is on its way. Actually, though, it is. Let's see, where are you at exactly? There you are. So he is right there, ready to deliver everything, and we'll start producing all of our lanterns rather quickly ourselves. There's our fifteen hundred. So yes, now we've got that done. So we need accommodation. Well furnished yet small room. Awesome. Alright, so there we go. Um total recording time was about um fifty-two minutes. So actually I I paused the recording. So probably about an hour and ten minutes, roughly, to get this. About an hour and ten minutes to get myself up to fifty to get myself up to fifteen hundred elders. Not super fast, not super slow, but it worked. We've got everything we need, so that makes me very, very happy. Here he comes with all of his goodies on board. I did expand out our harbor a little bit, added in a couple of piers right here, so we have some more places for people to pick up and drop off. And as far as our needs fulfillment, yeah. Uh, clay pipe's not worried about that. Yeah, we're pretty we're good on everything right now. That is very, very nice. I'm really happy with that. Very happy to have Mbessa done and set up. Uh, lots of room to expand, obviously. I've only used, like, what, two, three islands? Like, two islands. Just two islands. This one right here for the indigo. This one right here for lobster and uh, bee abundance. So, yeah. Mbessa is really, really easy to do. It, it really takes no time at all to get it set up. It's very self-sufficient. Um, Makes a little bit of money. We're making, what, 1,200-ish right here from this island? So, you know, it does make you a little bit of cash, too. It's not a cash cow, but makes you a little something. Something's better than nothing. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. There's everything we needed. Got everything going now. Sweet. So, now what I want to do is I'm just going to go spend a little time looking for a few more items that I want to get for our uh, city and kind of do a little more optimization. And in the next episode, when I come back, we will actually get started with the scholars and get them up and running. So with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.